the head of a top teachers union ready to go to battle to defend teaching critical race theory. AFT President Randy Weingarten slamming critics and saying her union has prepared, is prepared to fight in court to defend teachers who push it in their classrooms. Mark my words, our union will defend any member who gets in trouble for teaching honest history. We have a legal defense fund ready to go. Teaching the truth is not radical or wrong. Distorting history and threatening educators for teaching the truth is what is truly radical and wrong. Mm. Hmm. And Weingarten, who was with First Lady Jill Biden today, says the White House has her back. Together, we can support each other because we also know there's an administration in Washington, D.C. that has our back and an education department that truly respects your voices as professionals in classrooms. And frankly, that starts with the First Lady. So, Jesse, this seems like an intimidation tactic that uh, Ms. Weingarten is using against parents who dare to speak out. They're bringing in the lawyers, they're threat threatening lawsuits, and now they're saying the White House is involved. Poor Dr. Jill Biden. Yeah. That is not a hill you want to die on. Critical race <laughs> theory? My goodness, this country's against this by like three to one. If the CIA, Katie, were to invent a way to subtly destroy a country, it would be teaching critical race theory in our schools. Randy is not a nice woman. No bueno, Geraldo. No bueno. <laughs> First, she's going to embezzle all the money that we gave them to not teach. Can't prove it, but I will next year when you see all the indictments, because that's their track record. Then she kept all the kids out of school You're making that for an up. entire year. <laughs> and then, now that they're behind, instead of catching them up, she's just dragging them through the dirty racial gutter. It's a shame. It's disgusting. And the parents aren't taking it anymore. I have not seen the Democratic Party this discombobulated trying to defend something than what they're doing with critical race theory. Yeah. Usually they're really on message, like surprisingly on message. This time they're like, oh, we don't teach critical race theory. Oh, actually we do. We just teach it in colleges. Oh, actually we just teach it in middle school, but it's a good thing, but I can't define what it is, but it's good. And right. it's not history, Katie. Right. If, they have history class. I'm fine with teaching slavery in history that it's already taught. Yeah. They're talking about adding another topic, and it's, it's rotten. Yeah, Dana, they're gaslighting the parents, and they're also calling them bullies. Let's take a listen and get okay. your take. Culture warriors are labeling any discussion of race, racism, or discrimination, SCRT, to try to make it toxic. They are bullying teachers and trying to stop us from teaching students accurate history. Dana. Well, dismissing your critics as racist is basically just a way to say that I don't have to deal with you anymore. Yeah. And it's also telling the parents, you're just confused. Like, they're not. And they are engaged, and they've been to more school board meetings than they ever thought they would in their entire lives. Many, uh, I think we showed yesterday, I think the number of school board recall petitions are up, like, a huge amount. And then they have people deciding to run for the school board. I mean, this escalated pretty quickly from, oh, this is just an obscure elite theory that no one even really pays attention to. We have a legal defense fund <laughs> in order to right. defend anybody <laughs> who's going to do it. Now, here's the thing. Of all the millions of members that are teachers, there's got to be some that don't want to teach critical race theory. Right. Will she defend them? That's a great mm. question. And I would imagine that, that they're going to invite a lawsuit that will be very interesting by the time it gets to the Supreme Court, what would happen. Remember, the union dues issue was already dealt with and they were pushed back on. But if you're in the union, you don't have a choice. You have to pay. So now you are paying out of your paycheck as a teacher into the union, you don't have a choice, and some of that money will be used to defend critical race theory, even if you don't believe in it. You know, Greg, now that kids have been at, at home for a year and these teachers unions are threatening to shut down schools again in the fall, parents have been able to see more of what their kids are learning. And mm -hmm. we saw at the beginning they didn't want teacher or parents to be listening in on the Zoom calls and the meetings that the kids were having. Well, now we know why. They're, you know, they're saying that we don't teach critical race theory, but the parents are seeing it firsthand with the work that they're doing in their home, their, their kitchen table. Yeah, in fact, I mean, this is where you can really get an edge on these, on these people because you've got to define it. And once you define it, they're on the defense because the pr practitioners will deny it. They'll say, oh, no, CRT does this. We don't teach that. But then it's documented. It's in there. Well, we don't really do that. 
you don't even know what it is. But the first thing you got to realize, it's a theory. It's not history. It's right. a theory. It's based on defining America as an oppressor versus the oppressed. It, uh, it means that no one is free from race. That free that race, your skin color, actually defines your outcomes, and that that's the reason why we'll be eternally divided. And uh, the weirdest, I mean, the worst thing about it, what makes it racist, is that it says that there are certain specific attributes that are distinctly white. All right, so that's racist. We know that's racist, and it's okay to bully a racist. That's what I've been told by the media. So if CRT has racial components and she's teaching this stuff, she deserves to be bullied. She should People, to quote the great Maxine Waters, should get in her face <laughs> because she's teaching racist stuff to children. Lastly, get you know what? Let them run with this stuff and get your kids out of these schools. Right. It is time for a separate track, school choice. Let these people crash and burn. If they want to destroy their children, have at it. But if you're a parent, you get your kids out of there, you go to another school, you move out of town if you have to, let these people die with what they're creating. Yeah, now there's this push to disconnect property taxes and money from right. schools and attach it directly to individuals, meaning your kids. Geraldo, you know, if you're a teacher in a school and you're teaching reading, writing, and math, that enables every student in the school to be on the same playing field when it comes to opportunity and success in life. But instead, teachers are focused on this garbage that turns kids against each other, and they're bullying the parents and threatening to dox them if they dare say anything. Well, I, I think that you're all way too sensitive. I, I, <laughs> when I, when, I, I, Geraldo, when so I was in school, the only black person in American history that I ever heard of was like Jackie Robinson. Uh, they, it was you were a lousy student. Total, total, why, let, you, let me finish. You let must have cut class. Let me, <laughs> yeah. let me finish. It was, you know, the, the, the founding fathers, and, uh, you know, I, never, I was never taught that there was only one Catholic among the signers of the Declaration of Independence. There's, 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 some, good, there's some good in uh, the 1619 and all these other concepts. They go overboard. Teachers are way too progressive. What's good about but it? But parents could be insufferable too. I had lunch today <laughs> all right. at Michael's Great Restaurant. Uh, <laughs> I took my daughter. This is all and about her a plug. Friend, Alex, both of them, uh, you know, uh, go to Spence. <laughs> what or, is this? My daughter Sol went to Spence. The one on the left, her friend Alex, her best friend. What's going on? But, okay. but they say. What kind of tie are you they, wearing, they, Geraldo? They you want to plug that? They, the, the 15 year olds say that the parents can be insufferable to, the, the teachers may go overboard, let the kids figure yeah, it out. Yeah, you know what? Wait, 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 I was at lunch, I was at, I was at lunch today at Arby's. Do you have a picture of me with my family? Yeah. Geraldo, you ever heard my desk. of the customer is always right? Well, the parents and the students are the customers. They're paying They're the taxes paying to be taught this stuff. Oh, and if they object true. to it, it then that's they should true. do something What if you have it? a totally obnoxious parent who thinks something, uh, you know, uh, uh, I, I don't even. You want probably it. are the obnoxious <laughs> parent. I'm the nicest parent. You're <laughs> sensitive. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.